Hi everybody, my name is Frances Okuro. I'm um, the lady behind the www.imperfectly perfect lives blog. Um, this video has been a long time coming. I've uh, recently began to question um, along the line of um, Hey Frances, how do you keep a relationship with God on top? Or what do you do during your quiet time? Or how do you study your Bible to shut out noise? Okay, I blogged on um, a guide to studying the Bible before um, everything from understanding the Bible to place or time to read the Bible. So just go on www.imperfectlyperfectlives.com to read it. Um, for how do I keep my relationship with God amped up? The person who wanted to know, the sister who wanted to know, was um, talking about the fact that Hass right now is just a bit down. She's just going through the routines. And um, I think that's also in line with what I do during my quiet time. So I'm going to try and wrap up the questions together into one. How do I keep my relationship with God amped up? I recently traveled for a conference to just from um, Ekiti State. It's about 12 hours plus down to just. And when we got to Kaduna, I had already gotten her email before I left for the conference. When we got to Kaduna, the answer to our question flashed through my mind. The truth is how I keep my relationship with God on top is that I have learned the art of dropping everything to place God first. I've basically learned the art of when I feel like something's not right with me and him, I drop whatever it is and I run into him. Now, running into him does not mean I run into him, like physical run into him. It's actually also physical because I drop whatever distractions there are and then I pick up my Bible and get on my face before him. I've also blogged on remaining in Jesus before. The truth is, remaining in God, keeping our union alive with him, is all about remaining in his word. That's the fastest way to remain in Jesus. Now, the word says that Jesus is what? The word made flesh. Now, every time you spend time in the word, you are spending time with Jesus. It's almost like a date. Every time you communicate with your spouse, Jesus is actually our husband. Every time you communicate with him through the world, you are strengthening your relationship with him. When most of us say we are just going to do the routine, it's probably maybe God calling us deeper into him. And I've found out that if you would just drop whatever it is that's distracting you, maybe your phone, maybe your tablet, maybe your iPads or all stuff like that, just peripherals, and then really dig into what God wants you to have from him, your relationship with him thrives. It might not happen in a day, it might not happen in two days, but as you diligently keep seeking him in the world, your relationship with him increases. When I got to Kaduna, on the way to Joss, when this answer flashed through my mind, I realized that I pursue after God. I basically pursue after God. Now, I might not have too much, but once I feel like my spirit is down, I shut down my phones, I shut down whatever, and I, I might just decide that, okay, today I'm going to spend my time in the world, or I'm going to spend my time in prayers, or I'm going to spend my time just praying in the spirit, and then reading the word, you know, and there is no way, no how you do that, and you don't come out refreshed. The only problem I think we have is continuity, keeping on, keeping on, spending time with him and keeping that vital union with him alive now this is where it comes to what i do during my quiet time with god or what i do when i spend time with god now i know um, people like to go with rules but um my relationship with god is not in rules at all now there are some days where 
oh my quiet time is all jacked up and amped up and then i'm on fire like lord i know the world is so sweet you know those kind of days i had one this morning when i was studying matthew 14 peter walking on water i got to the part where i found that that when you actually walk on water like jesus wants you to walk you cannot sink like even if your faith goes down, as soon as you scream, Lord, help me, he helps you immediately. Now, I got to that point and I was like laughing and raising, raving mad in my house, you know. But then there are some days when you don't know what to read. You don't know what to study in the world. You almost feel dry. I found out something. As long as I keep that appointment time with him, as long as I'm diligent to stay um probably i wake up by five or i wake up by um, um sometimes i wake up by five sometimes when i'm very lazy i wake up by six as long as i keep the appointments with him something always happens but, but uh, let me give you an example um normally when i wake up okay i pray or i i worship and then i spend time in the word just to read on and on and on then i journal whatever he's speaking into my heart but then there are, there are some times when i'm like oh god i don't even know what to do today and sometimes a praise song just springs or uh, um, busts through my mind and then the next thing i'm dancing and then the next thing i'm praising and then i'm laughing i'm jumping in the holy ghost that's me spending time with him it doesn't have to be this routine routine kind of just enjoy god what would you do with your spouse if your spouse was physically with you do that with jesus that's just the way it is for me so some days are the normal wake up worship pray read my bible some days i don't know what to do and that's fine i just ask him okay lord what do we do today or he just lays something on your heart maybe a psalm maybe a song maybe a worship a uh, uh, um, 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 worship song just something and then before you know it you are all up high in him and you know just in the spirit i think the most important thing um in keeping our relationship amped up with god is showing up showing up um you feel like you are just going through the routines just show up in the morning pick up your bible and continue continue doing that keep on um if you if, if probably before the dry spell you were going 30 minutes even make it an hour you know and before you know it you hit just this new dimension in god i think when we feel dry is a sign of god calling us into more and deeper in him and if we just keep on and pressing when your relationship with your husband is is um, kind of experiencing difficulties you don't just pack up and leave you give it another try you try again you try again you try again so also i think our relationship and spending time with Jesus, we should view it as such. Learn the art of dropping everything and running after him. Learn the art of placing him first. Learn the art of placing your relationship with him first. When it seems like all's not well, drop whatever it is in the world that is holding you back and just run into him, run into his word, run into his word. Speak to him and tell him how you feel. And do that be consistent keep on keep on and you hit a new dimension of god like you've never experienced before i hope i was able to answer the question on spending time with god and keeping our relationship with him alive the key is not to give up the key is to keep working on the relationship with him and it grows little by little makes a mighty spirit it grows I pray that the Lord will grant us grace to continue to run after him. I pray that the Lord will grant us grace to continue to yield when his spirit talks on our hearts, that we will learn and we will obey his word in our hearts, that the world shall not take priority in our lives, but God himself shall take priority in our day-to-day -day living, in our everyday lives, and our relationship with him will grow stronger and stronger every day. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, I'll see you um, 
Whenever I make another video, to answer another question. <laughs> but you can go on www.imperfectlyperfectlives.com for more words on, um, um, we have Bible studies on there. We have um, relationship and courtship wisdom from the world on there. We have um, business secrets from the world. We have different sorts, different things, different things, different things, all on the kingdom and wisdom from the spirit. So just go on www.imperfectlyperfectlives.com. I'd like to see you there. Bye, till next time.